All right, here with the Concordia Eagles. Uh, congratulations on advancing to tomorrow's championship round. From left to right, we're joined by Erica Morris, head coach Crystal Rosenthal, and Riley Rohr. Coach Crystal, I just want to start with you, just kind of your takeaways from the day as a whole, because I know you guys had to play twice, and yep. you came up victorious in both. Yeah, I mean, what a gutsy day today, especially started on the mound for us. Kelsey came in and, and gave us what she had and, you know, followed up with a freshman to finish off game one, which I thought Central Washington was a really good team. Thought their pitcher came out and threw well. And then in game two, uh, giving Erica the ball and coming up big time on the mound. But I think uh, just looking at our box score, you know, 22 hits on the day, um, took care of the ball a lot better than we did yesterday. Um, kind of spread out offense and power when we needed it. So I think it was a really good day. Um, and to be honest, it started last night a little bit with some patience and letting a ball get to us. So uh, really, really proud of our effort today and, and excited to see what tomorrow brings. Your hitters have really come alive up and down the lineup. Uh, Riley with two big home runs in game one today. Uh, and obviously uh, a number of people contributing in different ways. Uh, how big was that and how much uh, is a lift when you see, you know, a, a freshman like that that really step up and, among her, her teammates. Yeah, and, and you know, not surprising, you know, that that's what she's capable of. But I think that the nice part is, is if you just look out, spread. I mean, Marissa Stockton went off today. Um, she's been on the ball all day, and I think the bottom half of our lineup did a good job getting on base, having better quality at bats. We moved some runners. Um, a focus for us has been bunting the ball. We're going to get better at that tomorrow, I promise. Um, but I think just really good spread out offense for us. Ron, I want to ask you in particular, what was working for you at the plate and. Uh, were you looking for a particular pitch or uh, just kind of, how did you settle in and find something you liked there? Um, I would say that like going into the box, I was really comfortable today. And then I've seen the ball really big and um, it all starts when I'm in the dugout with Rose and our thing is F-U-N for fun. So it all starts there and I've seen the ball really Good well spelling. <laughs> <laughs> so, had to make it clear. I know, I got it. When you, when you ran around the bases the first time and really kind of set the tone for your team, uh, how big was that earlier on? It was really nice to come out and put two runs on the board for our team and mm -hmm. come out stronger than we did yesterday against Hilo, and it was really good feeling to get us started. What are your thoughts about how you guys match up against Hilo? I know uh, just the way Pat West play was this year, we didn't see him during the regular season, but then seeing him you know, you know, the way we have in this tournament. Mm, I thought it was nice to see them again, just to come back and push them out of the tournament like they put us in the loser's bracket. So it was nice to come back and show them what we could do. Erica, I want to ask you too, just, uh, you know, how big was it from your perspective to be able to contribute the way you did today? Uh, uh, you really looked comfortable out there on the mound uh, and got in a groove. Uh, you know, what was working for you? Um, I think it also, for me, went off yesterday as well. I felt very comfortable out there yesterday. Nerves are normal. Um, I was kind of anxious, but my stuff was moving, and it was in a very good location. So I wasn't too, too anxious, too worried out there. Um, I think it's awesome that I got a chance to contribute. I mean, every pitcher on the staff will get a chance to contribute if they haven't already. So it's not just one person, it's everybody mm -hmm. for the staff. How proud are you of, you know, a person like Courtney that comes in? Oh, and, yeah. And, I mean, uh, contributions from a number of freshmen like Riley as well, but also a lot of veterans as well. It was so awesome to see Courtney strike out all those people today. Um, it's awesome to see Kelsey do her job. It's awesome to see Callie do her job. It's awesome to see everybody up and down the lineup do what they are here to do. Um, it's just super exciting, and we are very ready to play tomorrow. Last question for Erica. Um, yeah, looking ahead to tomorrow, I mean, it's going to be the Eagles against the Eagles. Uh, these two teams know each other very well. Um, how exciting is it to, to get that opportunity? Because you guys definitely fought your way back you know, through the bracket to uh, earn that opportunity now. We are very pumped up. I think that tomorrow is going to be something very exciting. Um, for those watching at home or for those watching in the stand, it's definitely going to be a nail biter for sure. And Riley, obviously, this is your first year here, but um, you know, part of the winning tradition here with the program and with the school, uh, how exciting is it to see that come to fruition and get that opportunity uh, in your first year here as, as an Eagle? Uh, it's really exciting to come out with the team and then show everybody what we can do. We have worked the odds this whole season, and I think that's something that we're going to do tomorrow. Crystal, any final thoughts? Or just kind of what's the message to the team now as you guys regroup and uh, reset for tomorrow with, uh, uh, with Bilo? Again, we know very well. I think the biggest thing for us is we can't get to a championship game until we win game one. So we're going to focus real hard on what we know um, and not try to do too much. And all we can do is, you know, our game and not worry about really what they do or the crowd. I've been a, a part of a few of these now. And I think the important thing is, is we need a couple kids to play big when we need them um, and, and not make the game bigger than it is. But excited for tomorrow. Just really, really proud of my team for even giving us this opportunity. It's tough to come back. It was a disappointing game one loss, but this was a really great way to respond. Thanks so much, guys, and good luck, to, good luck out there tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.